Okay, now we're going to show how we are connecting the dimmer pack to the controller. Something that a lot of people are asking and are confused about. And how do I control my dimmer pack from here? So as I showed you before, we take our cable, our DMX cable, 3 pin, or XLR cable, 3 pin, and then we discuss it separately what's the difference between a DMX and an XLR. From my DMX output on the controller to the DMX input on the dimmer pack. <coughs> I set my dimmer pack to A001 and at that point I turn my controller on. My controller at the back, of course, like I said, we make sure that the polarity at the back switch is configured to the location that fits the polarity on the dimmer pack. As you remember, um, the switch that moves from left to right. Uh, my polarity is set properly. At that point you can see that my dimmer pack is set at A001 ready to receive and I have my DMX signal blinking. That means at this point it's ready to be receiving DMX. On my controller, what's very important to do is of course once the light is shut off, all my sliders have to be in the down position. And before I start, I just have to move my speed button up, but everything else has to be on the button. At that point I turn my DMX, my, my, my controller, and at that point it defaults to zero, zero, zero. And the light over here is next to the one. For me to control this fixture, because it says that A001, because this is an intelligent controller, it falls under fixture one, channel one, two, three, four. Like I said, each fixture is capable of controlling 16 channel. So my first fixture controls 16 channel, so one to 16. My second fixture control channel 17 through 32. My third channel control channel 33 through whatever, and so on. So it's an increment of 16. So very important to remember that. So for me to control this fixture, because it's A001, I click on fixture 1, and at that point, my channel 1 will control my light my channel 2 will control my second light. And as you can see, the first time I'm moving my slider up, it's not responding to me, but after the second time it's responding to me. Why is that? Because actually I need to reset my channels. This channel, because they have multiple functions, they are not sure where they are, so the first time you move it up, it will not respond to you, but the second time it will respond to you. So I'm moving my channel 4, and now it's going to respond to me properly. So as you could see, 1, 2, 3, 4. If I wanted these fixtures to be controlled in channel 5, 6, 7, 8, all I have to do is go to the up and down button, bring it to channel 5, and at that point I'm controlling this fixture, this demon pack, from fixture 1, channel 5, and again up and down, and then channel 5, channel 6. and channel 7 and channel 8 now if I wanted to go for these fixtures to be controlled on channel 9 I would go and set this one up to channel to 9 so as you can see it's right now A009 now if I move this slider it will not control it why is that? because my channel indicator or my channel that I'm controlling right now is 1 through 8. I have to click the page button over here and that changes my channel from 1 through 8 to 9 through 16. So right now I'm controlling channel 9 through 16. So I'm at A009. I move this slider up and that will give me control over this channel. I move the next one up and that's channel 10. I move this one up and that's channel 11. And I move this one up, channel 12. So if I was looking to control now channel 13, all I have to do is go up to 13 and at that point I'm controlling channel 13. Now again if I go back to 1 and move channel 13, it's not controlling it. So it's very important not to forget to click the page button to move to channel 9 through 16. 
Now, just for a purpose of discussion, if I wanted to control my next channel that is 17, what I would do, I would go on my demon type, go to 17, that is 17, A017, but at that point, my fixture 1 has to be off, my fixture 2 has to be on, my page button has to be on channel 1, and I'm basically on fixture 2, channel 17. So now if I move, that's how I'm controlling it. Fixture 2, channel 17. So the next set of channels in this fixture is basically 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So if I go to 25, At that point, page 2, I'm controlling that channel. So again, each fixture is capable of controlling 16 channels, and each demo pack has 4 channels. So really, I'm, theoretically, I'm capable of controlling 4 demo packs on each fixture. So for total, you are able to control 4 times 12. That's the number of demo packs you are able to control from this demo pack. But keep in mind, this is more of an intelligent controller, not designed to do dimming, but we utilize it because it's a cost-effective, a lot of people use it, we wanted to explain this concept and to make it simple and easy. If your polarity would be on the wrong side, basically when your controller would come on, that's what you would see. That everything comes on, you have no control over it, that means your polarity is on the wrong side. All you have to do is go to the back of the controller, change the polarity, and you have control over that controller.